Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Welcome back. So now we are studying the contemporary literature and the MCQs. The time era is 1939 to present. So this is uh, like uh, a synopsis of what we have done. So starting with Beowulf in Old English, and then uh, prologue to the Canterbury Tales in Middle English, Shakespeare in Renaissance, and Neoclassical time, and then Romanticism, uh, and Victorian time, in uh, which was Oliver Twist, Edwardian time, starting with Peter Pan, then Georgian time, including certain plays, or uh, like uh, Mrs. Dalloway, modern times, Catch 22 by Joseph Feller, and then postmodern time, which is uh, tentatively by the end of World War to present, or by the beginning of World War to the present. So major events in uh, uh, the contemporary time. So that is end of the war. So that ended with bombing on Hiroshima and Nagasaki. So after these bombing, the dunya ka jo sochne ka nizriya tha, wo change ho gaya. Superpowers change ho gaye, aur world ka jo balance tha, balance of power, wo change ho gaya. Iska literature ke upar bhi effect aaya. Philip Larkin was born in 1922 and died in 1985. He's famous for his poem, Mr. Bellini. It was written by Larkin. Church going, church going was also by uh, Philip Larkin that was published in uh, around 1954. So MCM uh, 14 was uh, by Larkin, published in 1964. This is also a poem by him. Ted Hughes, the husband of Sylvia Plath, was born in 1930 and died in 1998. Thought Fox is a renowned poem by Ted Hughes. His animal imagery is very popular. He talks about animals and gives them certain images. He also wrote Snowdrop, Night Ride on Ariel, Hawk Roosting, Telegraph Wires. Ariel was a common horse of uh, Mr. and Mrs. Hughes, like Ted Hughes and Sylvia Plath. Ashbury, John Ashbury was born in 1927 and died in uh, 2017. Ashbury is famous for his self-portrait in a convex mirror, the painter and wet casements. Ashbury first saw a copy of uh, uh, Parmigianino's uh, Mannerist painting, self-portrait in a convex mirror, uh, which was made in 1527. So he saw it in 1950. So Parmigianino was uh, an Italian late Renaissance artist, a painter, most importantly. Jisko was painting, just never painting banai thi, just never opni deformity ko chubata hai or convex mirror mein banai hai, usme lakdi pe hai painting ko, lekin aisa lag raha hai ki wo convex mirror mein banai hua hai. Deformity hai, uska bada tha, baki se. So it was wonderful painting jisko ye apni paint, uh, mein le ke aata. The painter by uh, Ashbury. It has theme of modern and creative artists which are who are crucified by the traditional and conventional people. So in a way, individual versus society is a major theme hai, the painter ka. Wet Casements, the poem by uh, Ashbury that begins uh, with a wedding scene. A shadi ka scene hota hai, jise narrator ek window pane se dekh raha hai, khidki se dekh raha hai, jo bhigi hui hai, aur uske aage katre aare hai paani ke. Edwin Rich was born in 1929 and died in 2012. Her best work is Diving into the Wreck. So it is about women emancipation. Because diving into the sea was considered a very manly act. So here he is dive and uh, metaphorically bata rahi hai ki women are equal to men. Sylvia Plath was born in 1932 and gradually died in 1963. 
So I've used the word gradually because he tried attempting suicide uh, twice or thrice. Platts used the metaphor quite often, and that is of bees, because her father was interested in beekeeping. Sulia Plath was deeply obsessed with death. So death ka ek bada isko uh, obsession tha, uh, which also led her towards suicide. Sylvia Plath married Ted Hughes, and it was really an unfortunate marriage. Uh, it was a mismatch couple. Sylvia's horse is also referred in her famous poem, that is Ariel. So Ariel was the name of the horse of uh, Ted Hughes and Sylvia Plath. So this is also the title of her famous poem, Ariel. Daddy was written by Sylvia Plath. So that is written in the backdrop of uh, uh, that Holocaust, the conflict between Jews and Germans. Lady Lazarus by Plath is about women emancipation in which she is uh, uh, portraying the role of a narrator who is resurrected time and again. And people come, they look at her, they purchase her skin, part of bodies, and then she is alive again. Toni Morrison was born in 1931 and died in 2019. She is best known for her work, Jazz, which is uh, written uh, using stream of consciousness. Uh, this is her full name, the full name of Toni Morrison. Arthur Miller was born and died, so he was born in 1915 and died in 2005. Arthur Miller is best known for death of a salesman and the crucible. Death of a salesman is a yes. modern tragedy. So uh, since uh, uh, in last batch we went through the tragedy and tradition, we learned that tragedy ke concepts change hote rehte. So ye wo modern tragedy thi jisko bataya gaya ke uh, ek individual ki tragedy bhi tragic enough. Hai. Crucible is staged in Salem. So ye Salem ki uh, isme dasan batayi gayi witch hunt trials hue the. So ye usko depict kar rahe. Alice Walker, 1944, is best known for. Uh, she was born in 1944. So uh, and she's still there. Everyday use, once, and the color purple. So these are her important works. These are the uh, uh, characteristics of contemporary uh, literature. So for these, you can uh, refer to my lecture, uh, which is detailed lecture on uh, uh, contemporary literature. So I have defined it, so you can see that these are basically the things that are in it. Basically, these characteristics and which are used in contemporary literature. Mein. Ahmed Ali was born in 1910 and died in 1994. So he was famous writer of Twilight in Delhi. Also, he wrote Ocean of Night, Rats and Diplomats. Uh, these were novels. Then also he wrote certain plays, Land of Twilight, Break the Chains. Hanif Qureshi, still alive. He was born in 1954. So he is known for the Buddha of Suburbia. The Black Album, Intimacy, Gabriel's Gift, Zulfkar Ghos, uh, born in 1935. So he is known for his statement against Hobbes uh, uh, and uh, short stories with uh, B.S. Johnson, The Contradictions, The Murder of Aziz Khan. Sarah Suleri, born in 1953. So she's known for her meatless days, the boys will be boys, which is a daughter's allergy. Muniza Shamsi, 1944, is famous for hybrid tapestries. So that is the uh, development of Pakistani literature in English in 2017. Mohsin Hamid, 1971, still alive. Moth Smoke and the Reluctant Fundamentalist. So they're kind of feminist novels uh, of the time, 
uh, written by Mohsen Hamid. Mohsen Hamid, uh, uh, Babsi Sidwa. So she was born in 1936. She was a Parsi. And uh, she's famous for Tracking India, which was also titled as Ice Candy Man, written in 1988. The Crow Eaters, 1978. The Bride, 1983, which is also named as uh, The Pakistani Bride. Which American writer published A Brave and Startling Truth in 1996? So that is Maya Angelou. She was born in 1928 and died in 2014. I know why the caged bird sings was written. So it was also written by Maya Angelou. Elizabeth Sewell was born in 1919 and died in 20, 2001. She is best known for New Year resolutions. Just me wo resolution banati hai ki naye saal mein kya karungi? Any my realities ke saath apni zindagi guzarungi? What is a poem called whose first letters of each line spell out a word? So that is acrostic which was used by many people here. So acrostic is a poem, just may uske initial har line ko milay to ek word banta hai. Limerick is a funny poem of five lines, which was also used sometimes in the modern age. Which type of feminist believes men and women are equal? So these are liberal feminist. Which type of feminist find important differences between men and women that are arbitrary and flexible? So these are post-positive feminist. An important implication of a post-positive stance is that our theories help to make the world as we know it. So post-positive stance is theories are so this was the end of the history section and also that of contemporary age.